Thanks for watching this video. This one was shot outside the workshop, so excuse the noise of the uh, local seagulls. This one comes from filming in Sussex. Next, we're going to be um, replacing the oil seal in the hub here, which is under the gator. Uh, to do this, we need to remove the uh, clip here and remove these bolts so we can take this and the gator off. Uh, and access the oil seal which is underneath. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and do that next. So on this particular hub you can see there's these collared bolts in here and in here and down here I don't know whether these have been replaced at some point but they're just A spring clip on there and this one is the same and again this one on this side is that collar type Two. Okay, so you should be able to separate this now. The, uh, the mounting ring there, and you can see that, that just clamps around the edge of the uh, gator. Again, when you get this off, it needs an uh, inspection, see whether it needs replacing or not. And so the next step is just to ease the gator off over here. So you can see we've removed the gator just so we can see a little bit more what we're doing and you can see the old oil seal there and hopefully you can see in there the other round oil seal we need to replace. So just as before, if you've watched the other video for rebuilding the um, uh, inner tractor housing, we need to split this here, but um, as before there are shims in this joint, so what we don't want to do is go in there with a screwdriver and damage those. So we're going to try and tap this joint out. So this is very easily separated just by tapping with a brass drift here. And you can probably see in there some of the shims. So you can see the thin metal shims. Remove 
those, keep those safe. And there we can see the old oil seal, which we need to remove. seal tucked out. That's what we'll do is we'll refit the new one in and then we'll use the old one as a template or as a, a drift almost so we can hammer the new one in when you're putting a new seal in you should never hammer down on the edge of the seal because you will bend the metal seal and um, deform the actual rubber sealing face so this needs to be pressed in nice and straight and flat and when it comes down level with the top of the housing here and you need to knock it down home then use the old seal on top and uh, gently tap round on that to seat the old seal the new seal should I say down in here so the new seal needs to be pressed in like that So there's the uh, new seal pressed in uh, flush there. And then take the old seal on top. And uh, you can see that's just uh, now knocked in home. Okay, so we've fitted the new oil seal. That's ready to go back on. So there's a, another oil seal here which uh, needs to be removed um, so you can uh, replace it. Um, this can only be done by removing uh, this part of the shaft from the hub. Um, just need to be careful to uh, hold it uh, horizontally um, and uh, carefully remove the shaft from it. Um, if you tip up the track joint, then uh, this happens. The problem uh, with this is uh, you end up spilling the needle bearings everywhere. So. Uh, just take care um, not to uh, lose those by accidentally tipping it up and uh, losing the shaft out of it. So you can just about see in this shot here the uh, needle bearings um, there where they've uh, come loose. Um, just take care not to lose any and um, you'll need to refit those with some grease when we come to put it back together. Okay, so I've taken apart this hub here and I've stripped it down a little bit further than we normally would do. I've taken out the uh, tractor joint there and you can see where that actually fits in. And again, more needle bearings, which we'll have to put back together. I've taken this apart because you can see 
there's some scarring to this bronze cup here. And there was quite a bit of sort of bronze filings and things in the bottom um, down in here. So I uh, took the shaft out so I could clean it up a bit in there. And it appears to have been caused here. You can see where this steel cup has been quite rough in there. So we'll try and tidy this up a little bit to prevent that re-happening. So I'm just going to use a screwdriver down in the top here to knock the oil seal out of the other side. That's the old oil seal removed. Still ready to fit in there. Now, the only way to um, press this seal in is to find um, something of the correct size to go on the outer uh, edge of the seal. Um, that you can use to uh, tap it in. Um, I happen to have uh, these stainless steel uh, rings which are, just happen to be the, exactly the right size, um, but um, you will need to find something uh, to do this. You can see um, down in here the needle bearings um, refitted and packed in grease to uh, hold them in place. So once you've got those needle bearings back in, um, we can refit the uh, um, this half of the, the uh, tractor joint. Um, so just have to gently uh, drop this down in here. It's a little bit of a, a fiddle because you can't really get your hands in uh, um, properly down to the bottom. But um, once you've got it in place, then um, just make sure it um, rotates nicely um, and that uh, it hasn't disturbed any of the needle bearings. Um, it's, uh, it's really not uh, particularly difficult to uh, get that back in. So hopefully you can see now we've put quite a bit of grease in there to hold those needles in place 
and some grease in where the new ones are going to be fitted. It's just a case of trying to carefully put them in. One needle at a time. So that's all the needle bearings put back in there. So now we can carefully reinsert this into the housing. Hopefully you can see that's now back in. got here a new CV boot um, got this one from Richard Bannister um, this is the old one that's been removed um, you see this one is splitting around the bottom mounts so I'm gonna pop this new one on just so it uh, seals up nicely you're looking at the kind of thickness of the walls look to be uh, comparable so um, yeah looks like a good quality replacement
So you can see bolt passes through, through the cover, through the gator, through the capping here, through the shims, and bolts down in. All we need to do now to finish this job is uh, refit the Jubilee clip onto the end of the uh, gator. Um, I hope you found this video useful. Um, it's fairly straightforward to uh, replace the oil seals in the hub. Um, hopefully you won't find any uh, damage in yours like I did on mine. Uh, makes the job a lot quicker. Just take care when you're taking it apart um, not to disturb those needle bearings uh, if you don't have to. Um, please do like and um, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel. It really does um, make a big difference. Thanks a lot.